We're celebrating Women's History Month with Stasia Robitaille. You probably recognize her last name. Her husband is legendary hockey player and LA Kings president, Luke Robitaille. Yeah, she's made it her mission to help foster youth, and she sat down with our Jamie Maggio to talk about sparking hope and changing lives. I think that there's no greater gift to yourself than to give yourself to another. And I know Luke has learned that. Just being married to me, it's as a couple, it's, it's contagious. Stacia Robitaille says it was soon after she began dating her now husband, LA Kings president and Hockey Hall of Famer Luke Robitaille, that she convinced him to work with kids. And I looked up and I was like, that's you on the billboard. I'm like, you work with foster youth? And he said, yeah. And I'm like, what do you do? And he goes, well, I took the picture. And I said, oh, no, you don't. We're calling and we're going to start working with the youth. So I looked at Luke after a couple years and I said, honey, I got I to gotta follow through with my dream and help foster youth and at-risk youth. So we started Echoes of Hope. And that was almost 20 years ago now. The nonprofit helps at risk and foster children reach their full potential by bringing a higher education within reach. Instinctively think, you know, you're 18, you're on your own, you're an adult. A lot of the, the foster youth, they, they leave their homes with a trash bag or a backpack if they're lucky. There are approximately 60,000 children in the state's foster care system, but the National Foster Youth Institute found that just three to 4% of former foster children obtain a four-year degree. The Robitaille's are working to change that. Well, I'll start with my Javon. So he was my first youth. I mean, he was in a chair and he turned up and he looked at me and we both just got the biggest smile. It was like, I, in two weeks, he was calling me mom. It was just an instant connection, and it wasn't like I was getting connected to another organization. It was I was getting connected to love, to family, and to peers who wanted better for their life. Javon Wilkes is the first foster person to go through the Echoes of Hope program. When people take the time to show that they care, and they're taking the time to invest in another person, how is that investment life-changing? Well, when you're a young person that comes from the foster care system, when you've experienced homelessness like I have, there's an absence that you're born into. And when you feel it, it's definitely uncomfortable, but it's the greatest thing in the world when you know somebody cares about your well-being to thrive and not just survive. And that is exactly what Echoes of Hope strives to do. I personally am living my purpose and I feel the boys and Luke, it, it's become their purpose. We get more than we give. It's, that's, it's just, you know, I, we don't give to get. That's not the point here, but that's what happens. Such an inspiring person and story and to see the life she's affected and to see them all standing there together is pretty amazing. It's incredible. And to think she doesn't have to be doing this, right? right? Like there's so many other charitable events tied to the King's organization. She doesn't need to do this, but it's so remarkable that she has gone out and, and created this and changed so many lives yeah, in the process. Really, really amazing.